hello new video today we are doing a bob ross painting but we don't own any paint so we're just going to do them in whatever pencils because i've got a lot of pencils so we're going to do them in pencils hopefully it all goes well and we're going to get straight into it come on bob us back for another series of painting shows take one let's get right to it let's start out today and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me and while they're doing that come on up here let me show you what i've already done Okay. I have my standard old 18 by 24 inch canvas, but you use any size that's convenient for you. Oh yeah, we also have a canvas. We have screen. this. The so. bottom of it, I have covered with a little bit of black gesso. This and is going to do well. Sponge or a foam brush or just paper towel, it doesn't matter. Anything to cover it. And then so random dry. pots. Then we've applied some transparent color down here on the bottom of this. And we don't have any of the colors he's asking if we have. Mixed together. And it's still wet. The black gesso has dried. We'll X this little crisscross strokes. And we'll work all the way across the top. Now the color is Oh, he's doing it the other way. Oh, God, okay. We'll swap to this side. Let me just put it down there for a second. Put a little more color on the brush here. Let's start at the top and work down. And that way, our sky will get progressively toward the horizon. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're looking for. In a landscape, you want things to get lighter toward the horizon and darker. I couldn't agree more, Bob. Come away from the horizon. So by okay. using the liquid light and allowing the color to blend, <laughs> that effect happens <laughs> automatically. Really oh, God, he's going so much further down. Oh, God. Happens. And that truly is the joy of painting. This is not joyful so far, Bob. This work is right on down. I thought today we'd, we'd start this series with just a very basic little painting. This is not basic so far. This, before, this, will be an easy one for you. this is not easy, Bob. This is your first time. Then you can see one of the ways this fantastic technique works. This is, this is really, this doesn't work without, without painting. Across the entire sky. Oh, and God, Bob. You end up with a dry surface almost immediately. Okay, Maybe. Bob. Yeah, right there. We'll have another little bump there. We'll have another little bump. Just wherever you want them. Yep. And painting is very individual. Everybody will see nature through different eyes. Yeah. And everybody has their own idea of, of what a mountain should look like. Or no, it does not look like a mountain so far, Bob. I'll here show you how to make these effects. What you paint is totally Yeah, I fully agree. Mine is the exact same. The fun part of this. That's the fun part. Shake off that. That was fun. Just, just beat the devil out of it. So I say that's the part that's the most fun. Okay. We Gotta go. beat the devil out of that. Let's take, let's take some titanium white today. Here and I'll get a very small amount of the dark sienna. Oh, much. Just a little dark sienna. What's sienna? I just want to flavor this a little. Okay, I'll, I'll say this is Sienna. Just enough to flavor it a little bit. Now, when you do yours, you make the determination how much you want. Let me wipe the knife here. It's a mountain, though. As Bob said, in our world, in my world, that's a mountain. Should we add, I want to add a sun. Bob, I'm adding a sun. And you can come back in here. See, this line is very straight. Now we there you go, Bob. Here, and we can put all kinds of little that looks way better. Okay, let's move on from the mountain now. I've had enough of this mountain. The sharper than this background back here. Just tap it down with a fan brush. This is one of the neatest ways I've ever come up with making the illusion of a lot of little trees that live far away. Yeah. Mine looks identical. Let's add some green. The red leaves are close to this green. I don't know why I say this is a joy. We'll cause the liquid white to come through. And a little bit of that color will show. Lift upward. Just to take I am loving this. Marks. Bring it all together. See there? There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Then maybe, maybe, maybe in our world, we'll just 
just use that same Wolfman brush. It's, it's working so well here. Let's keep going. Load a lot of the pure dark color on it. Let's go right up here. Maybe there lives a happy little evergreen tree right there. We'll just use the corner of the brush. Maybe the evergreen tree. Let's go back and forth. Ooh. Ooh. That easy. Now let's give him a few friends. We don't want him to get lonely back here. Gosh, with a scene like he's got to look at here. He'd have to invite all of his friends over to see it, too. This is just, this yeah. is just too nice for him to keep for himself. There's a little. But if you want these hangy down looking limbs like this, I find it much better to use this oval brush. There. Now then, all we're doing here is just placing in some very basic little shapes. Just think about the arms on this tree that live out here. Where you want them? There. Yeah, that is a good Maybe tree. tree Let's have some shade in. Somewhere down in here. Took that know. very good tree. Right, well, that was fun. I like making trees with that oval brush. Take what? Let's pick another one. We're making let's another, make one. another one. Then let's not make another one. Tree. They will have one right there. Mm -hmm. We we'll make the same one. Just make a little, little line. Bushes. A little Van Dyke brown, a little dark sienna mixed together, and we can put the indication of some lamb yeah. back in there. See that? And easy. A little bit of brown and white, put a little highlight on it. Shoot, we're in business. A little more of that color. Maybe there's a. Look at that. Liquid white on the knife. And we'll just cut in a little water line. And this separates. Just separates. It's just straight liquid white. Right, Bob, I think I need to give up. A few little ripples here and there. Shoot, we've got to have a finished painting. Yeah, I think we have finished. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was not a fun experience, Bob. I think we'll call that one done. Yeah, I but think we will. This is a good example of how easy this technique is. So that was not easy, that was very sure stressful. Until then, happy painting. God bless, my friend. I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> That was not fun, let me show you it. Okay, so here's the finished artwork. Here's what Bob was talking about, that Bob was there. We didn't use many pens or pencils, but here is the finished artwork. Um, I'm personally really proud of it. If you actually lift up the page, there's a piece of artwork I did when I was, no, maybe it's another page. That's a piece of artwork I did when I was two. I would say it's about the same level. Um, I really enjoyed it and I will not be doing this again.